Wow, it's beautiful out today. We're going to Myrtle Beach and I'm so excited. I've been waiting my whole life to go to Myrtle Beach. Everybody in this country has probably been there except me, so. Yeah. We're currently at a place called Colton State Park in South Carolina and it's been beautiful here. We've been here for about a week just getting work done. coolest part about this state park is there are so many caterpillars here and I'm not talking like just a little here and there I mean I'm talking hundreds of them they're literally raining from the trees never seen anything like this in my life they don't bug ya and they don't get in any crevices they haven't been on the inside of the trailer or anything it's just I don't know they're cool little guys I don't it doesn't bother me it could be worse right insert stink bugs or those ladybugs that everyone talk about or ants I'll take caterpillars any day Renee just reminded me that tomorrow we're going to get our gray tank replaced. Woo! What's wrong with you, Carl? Where's your memory going? game plan for all of us and when I say all of us I mean you guys because you're along for the journey as well isn't it peaceful in the Hanks household yes it is no it's not <laughs> tonight we are going to Ocean Lakes campground and we're staying only a mile away from where our destination is of Lakewood campground and why are we doing that? Well, Lakewood's a little pricey to stay overnight, and we figured we have one more night to get some work done before hanging out with friends. We're gonna get laundry done when we get to Ocean Lakes. I'm gonna clean the whole RV so that when we get our RV back after the appointment tomorrow, we're ready to pull into Lakewood camping. We're ready to hang out with our friends. We're ready to have a good time. Tomorrow, after we get a good night's sleep, we're gonna wake up bright and early, take the RV over to get repaired. Finally, the gray tank is getting switched out. It's only been four and a half months. Our big concern with the gray tank being replaced, however, is time crunches. They said they could get it done in a day, but you know how things go. We're afraid they're gonna start ripping into it and then it's just gonna get to the point where they can't close everything back up together. Nothing's like done and set in stone and fixed completely. And then they're gonna be like, well, because what's gonna happen is we're supposed to check into Lakewood right after our appointment tomorrow at 3 p.m. So if that happens, we're gonna be like, listen, throw it all together, we gotta go. Yeah, there ain't no leaving it there. Is this gonna be able to be managed in one working day? Hang on, we're gonna find out really quickly. I mean, they put entire RVs together in one day. So I don't see how replacing a gray tank is gonna like be like, whoa! And when they did that black tank valve replacement yeah. for our RV, that took like two hours. Oh, that was so fast. It was so fast. And I know the service centers aren't the ones putting RVs together, you know, that's the manufacturers in their factories, but still, I'm just so nervous about not having our rig. This is why we do so many repairs ourselves because you give it to somebody else and you're like, take care of this baby, but they'll never take care of it. Like they don't feel the way that you do about No, they don't feel that connection. You know those guys with the awesome voices? We need one of those where they're like, be sure to strap in and strap your gray tanks in, ladies and gentlemen, we're making this happen. But first, let's take a quick commercial break. We were laughing the other night because we were watching the Smithsonian channel. Man, we're getting old. 30 and watching the Smithsonian channel. Well, we watch this like awesome cruise, like how they rock these cruises overseas, like near Greece. Every single second they got to like, they ran out of fish and they went to a local market. And then like five minutes later at the local market and they're like, there's only three fish. Will they be able to find more fish? And then they're like doing meet and greets out in the middle of the ocean, trying to find fish for the customers. And it's just like, this is a lot of drama just for a silly cruise line story. I thought this was about building cruise ships or something. Yeah, they took any scenario they could. 
will this person get on the elevator in time before the doors close? They went for it. They let her rip for sure. We honestly can't wait to get here because we've been doing a lot of work lately. I don't know if you guys struggle with this, finding work-life balances. It doesn't get easier when you hit the road full-time. In Nene, in my situation, we find ourselves having to work a lot, you know, make videos, get content out there, which we love, but at the same time, we don't want to pass all these experiences up and miss out on uh, opportunities to, you know, see some cool places and make some lifelong memories. <laughs> Are we gonna fit? What's the clearance over there on the Wait, left? 14, um, so we're good. I'm confused, do we check in here? Family campground, I'm saying so, honey. Staging area to the left here with all the golf carts. What's going on over there, guys? You want me to walk in and see what's up? Yeah, go ahead and use a restroom. And check those fluid levels. Hey, are you allowed to park here, lady? I don't know. Put her in park there, Oh, Captain. okay, okay. <laughs> go, check, go check it out, babe. I will go check it out. No need to yell. That's two salty attitudes for the Hanks family. Never me, though. Oh, we're site 4001. 4001. 4001. You're kidding me. They have that many RV sites here? You're just messing with me here. Them, You're messing with no, me. No, I think some of them are condos, but 4001. Wow. Okay, we have switched. Carl just checked this in. How did that go? It went really nice. Uh, I do have some good news and bad news, however. <gasps> good news is uh, we do have a poultry site. The bad news is they said they need all salty attitudes to be checked in at the front desk before we go. <gasps> or they're going to tack on an extra $15 per salty attitudes. Oh. If my calculations are correct, that's an extra $30, which is like, that's way out of our budget. Wow. You two oh. need to get your, yourselves under control here. You hear that? No salty attitudes. Oh, thank you. Do you know how many RV sites they have here? How many? 800. Dude, she's like, you're only staying here one night. We have so much to do. We have an indoor pool, outdoor pool. We have golf center. We have dog park, catch a release pond. I think we're looking for seashell lane or something like oh, that. Okay. okay, let's see. Scallop drive. That's what it was. I knew there was a C in it. So wow, look at the it. parade of people in golf Oh, make it rain. You're camping. Okay, this place is cool. Like try to book a place here sometime. Campground, Myrtle Beach. The beach is that way. Oh, that's a big, oh my goodness, it goes all the way, look it goes at all, all the way, way down. down, that's crazy. Why are we on ground? I thought gravel? Because yeah. I booked, it was cheaper to book like a gravel site. So we don't even get concrete? No, I didn't book what? concrete. Oh man. I will next time. Good thing we have D so we can off road here. Like D's like no problem, this is, this yeah. is good. Cue the salty attitude because he knows we're here. Okay, now I need to use a restroom. Here, take everybody with you. I can't hold that many people. Holy mackerel, you guys are heavy. Listen, first things, empty your bladder before you hook up. There's no right, we're not rushing. Check those fluid levels. Bladders. Maybe he wants to empty his bladder. Oh, that's true. So you drink more coffee before you empty the bladder. Is that the way? Rock on. All right, you go get him, tiger. You keep doing you, boo, it's working. Hey. Is it me or did it just get extra peaceful in here, Dexter? <laughs> She probably heard that. Yep, she heard that. Okay. All right, here's the situation we got going on here. Not super bad, not super bad. Since we're on a little bit of a, a downward hill here, I'm gonna pull up and then we're gonna hopefully kind of level out here. That's that's the idea anyways. It's all theory until you actually make it happen, you know? Lots of theories in the RV life, if you know what I mean. Theoretically, this is gonna work, but will it actually work? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Hey, I think I'm gonna pull up a little more. I was gonna say the same. No, you weren't. That's my idea. Okay. Okay, honey. Hurry up now. I guess that's good. I, have you ever seen, like, it's weird we're like parked next to houses. Like, I've never seen this before. Yeah. Unless we're mooch docking. Ah, is that what it is? Is this Moondocker's welcome? <laughs> is this Harvest House? Yeah, where's the wine? You wanna chalk? Maybe chalk our yeah. socks. This is great. I just got the camera back from her and uh, you know what that means. It means I don't have to do anything. So in all theory, basically she's gonna do everything and I'm just gonna kind of boss her around and bust on her like a typical husband should do. You know, keep them on her toes. Don't feel bad for her. Okay, she does this to me all the time too. So this is like a two way street here. Hey, do you want it when you're done with that, just chalk that other side there too. Okay. It's a beautiful day, huh baby? It's so nice. Come on, let's go. Watch your noggin. Wait, I have to get something out of here. 
Oh, dude, we got a caterpillar that rode all the way from here. Well, we probably have, like, so many caterpillars. Look at him. He stuck it out all this way. He deserves to be here. You go, buddy. That is crazy. I can't believe you made it all the way here. All right, you're safe now. Be free. Wow. Look at all the cocoons in our Dang. wheel chalk from where we were. There's so many beautiful butterflies coming, and it's the ones that I think hurt. Like, they would... They hurt? Yeah, what do you like mean? the guys Can... with the spikes, I think, like, make you itchy or something. Itch, itchy's definitely different than hurt. Which one is that? Slide might hit this thing. We didn't measure. Uh, no, I think we'll be good. But, yeah, we'll definitely measure. If experience tells me anything, I think we're going to be good here. We always know that the kitchen slide doesn't come out as far. Dining room's the one we have to worry about on on old Solly here. While Nay is doing that, let me run you through some of our situation here. What you got here, folks, is you got your water hookups. You got sewer and you got cable if you want that as well. Come over here to exhibit B, please. You definitely gonna take a look under the hood here. You got your 30 and 50 amp connections. That just comes standard with our sites. And uh, all we ask of you guys is you just have a good time, all right? That's what it's all about. What's the consensus? We're good. Well, this, we'll get a little close, but for the most part- This is bedroom, oh, kitchen right here. Okay, yeah, we're good. It'll we're... be nice and close. All right, let's do it. Look at this. Oh, they even give you a cable for the hookup for the yeah i just walked everyone through the hookups you know you ever notice like no matter how long you've been doing this for people you always get to those rv parks and they're like walk you through the hookups despite you know being doing this for five years yeah that's kind of like going to a car dealership and they're like now this is a car here and uh, what you got here folks is a steering wheel you got a gas pedal and you got a brake and it's all included and i'm like no no way I, I'll do something eventually. Ow! I just hit my head. Cool noodle. If this is uh, kind of like your first time here, if you guys never know why I randomly say pool noodle, it's because everyone is always like commenting like, you should get some pool noodles for that. I'm like, yeah, we know, but we're hard headed. Hence, we keep hitting our heads against the hard pieces of material. This is the Hank's way of doing things. This is uh, Nene Poodle Hank's. I'm Carl Poodle Hanks, and then we got Sassy Britches Poodle Hanks here in the truck. You want to say hi to everyone real quick? Say hi. We're gonna let her rip, ready? You got it, babe. Let her rip. Just throw it, huh? Whoa! Wow, that was quite the rock. <laughs> that was quite the rock for sure. That wow. rocked. You rock. No, I cannot help it. Dad jokes will never stop coming. It's stupid, annoying, and. That just has my name written all over it. It's just the way it's gonna be for the rest of your life because you said I do. Anything else I can help you with? You just let me know. Yeah, babe. I'm getting exhausted. Can you uh, maybe make me a sandwich when we're done? <laughs> you guys might think she's gonna take my head off after this, after the camera shuts off, and you're absolutely right. The head is definitely gonna roll. She's gonna whoosh my face off. Do you want me to pull the truck forward? Yeah, you could just pull forward now. Seven ways all unplugged, we're chalked, unhooked. Emergency, uh, the breakaway cable is done. Rock and roll, I like that. Good communication. Things are looking good. Salty britches is in the truck. Yeah, I'd say that looks pretty dandy. That's dandy, Randy. All right, let me, I'm gonna plug her in before we auto level. Okay, Miss Bossy Pants. Oh, baby, let me get that, here, here. I feel bad now, joke's over. I'll get it. <laughs> Holy caterpillars. Just got done telling all everyone I don't mind the caterpillars and <laughs> that could have ended badly. <laughs> just, that was getting everyone calm down. I feel like all the men just kinda like flinched a everyone little. Everyone on the couch was like <laughs> Don't worry. No pressure, just a couple thousands of people watching right now. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do this. <laughs> Come on! Definitely everyone thinks we're brand new. Look at the dust coming off there. There are cocoons everywhere. There's one in that plug there. Here you go, I'm gonna do the auto level. Okay, so the rear is beeping, so we're, we're nose high, which is where you wanna be a little. Yeah. So here we go. All right, let's rock it. We are slightly unleveled from left to right, so we'll see what it does. Unfortunately, this is probably gonna end with us kind of crying, honestly. Wow. Because we're just over this auto level. It's gonna do it. There it goes. Oh no. Frankly, it didn't make a liar out of us this time, so yes. everyone's gonna believe us. So 
watch exhibit A. You guys have been saying some sweet comments like it's probably a voltage thing and you're probably right. Error. It's always the left front jack. Let's check if it's level and if so we'll just like turn this off and then we'll worry about it tomorrow. Only here one night. Ugh. Such a pain in the butt. I mean even if it's a little off level I'm, I don't know. Oh yeah. That's gonna work this one. This is where the hangs get in trouble. We're like, oh, we're all good. We don't need to worry about this now. So what do we do? We just cut it off and go to sleep. We'll reach out to Lipper again and maybe, maybe they'll come have a service technician come out. Well, they're gonna be at the rally this week. Shut the front door. I don't know if like the service techs are, but maybe someone can come look at it. Oh, okay. Maybe they're just gonna be like, yep. Yep, that's broken. Good morning. We have a lot to do today. With the biggest chunk of our day being eaten alive by needing to get our gray tank replaced. I just told Nene I'm out here to let her rip. And what I mean by that is literally I just gotta empty the gray tanks so that they're nice and empty before we head over to Camper's Zen here in Myrtle Beach. It's an exciting day, folks. It took us over four and a half months to get this gray tank replaced. We first realized that this gray tank was leaking on us back in California. And what a nightmare that was trying to figure all that out, putting a patch on it ourselves and then realizing none of it worked. And how we've been managing it is by keeping our gray tank open all the time. Over these past four months, we have had to stay at full hookup campground so that we can keep our gray tank open because if not, it's a little bit of a messy situation if you know what I mean. We're gonna give you all the ins and outs of how we go about today, getting everything prepared ready fixed what we do with all of our free time in the meantime because look we have nowhere to go we got dexter in the back seat of the truck and this is just the way it is rv life just throws those curveballs at you today will be full of a lot of chaos and i'm glad we're taking you guys along for the journey i need that i need that encouragement i need that mental encouragement with y'all if you know what i mean you know actually to get real with you guys come to think of it the biggest concern we have is actually getting this thing done today. They said hopefully they can get it done in one day. <laughs> I'm like, we live in this thing, so it has to be done. When else are we going to get it replaced? We waited four months to get in for an appointment. I mean, we can't just wait another four months, so <sighs> fingers crossed. We got this. We're in this together. We're going to make this happen. <sighs> make sure you guys, yes, you guys, make sure you guys keep throwing the positive energy this way as well. We're relying on you. nothing like the fresh smell of kitchen gray tanks in the morning. Am I right? <sighs> you think black tanks are bad? Gray tank. Kitchen. <laughs> the worst. Hey babe, I think we should take Dexter's water today, just in case it takes a little bit longer so he has something to drink. I mean, we drove longer days without him using the bathroom. I mean, yeah. we pulled over to let him, but he never does, so. Yeah, he like won't drink or water or eat food or use a litter box when we're on the, like when we're in the truck. So should we, we just to... wait and see when yeah, we get there? Yeah, let's ask them. And okay. then if they say, oh yeah, it's gonna be all day, we'll grab the litter box, we'll grab his bowl. Okay. And we'll just be prepared. Uh, lopsided last night or it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be no it was doable for one night but you could definitely tell it was on level all right did you get a good night's sleep I did all right great up early 6 30 just that's our like new routine now all right let's deal with this hotter level that we seem to put off all night Beep. lift the front up the only way to clear this code is you have to manually retract all jacks. So once it's all hooked up, you have to extend all four jacks down and then hold retract to retract all and allow the system to completely reset. And then I'll shut you up. 
See, I showed it who's boss. You gotta lay down the law in the RV life, you know what I mean? Okay, we're hooked up. We lowered all four jacks about halfway. Now, reset the system by holding retract. And that is how you clear a jack error, no matter which one it is. All right, Jack. Already, no, not, not beeping. beeping. All right, turn that puppy off. Let's get going. Okay, well, we're really we're good. I said let's pull up at 8:30. It's 8:33. Three minutes late. We just gotta figure out how to get out of this maze of a place. And don't forget the trash. I probably will. All right, babe. I'll see you at camp then. Okay. Have an awesome day. I love you. Love you too. Something. I'm your wife, you can't forget me. Looks like we got a long drive. Point, what was it, point eight miles away? So. Yeah. That was a rough one. Everyone suited up for this long, long drive. I think we're good. Sean oh, said I it's see. a weird pulling, so we gotta do a right and then immediate left. Here. Yeah, because I saw on satellite maps. Anytime you guys are taking your RV in for service and you're not familiar, get on Google satellite maps and just check it out. For sure, for yeah. sure. Got some campers coming through. Wow. We got an appointment. <laughs> Don't we, mess with us. We got a we got a leaky tanks, leaky tanks with the hangs. I always feel like when you go out to places, they're always like, "Do you have an appointment?" And I'm like, "We actually do." Let's do it. Wish me luck. Wait, I'll wait here. I really do have an appointment. Okay. I don't have to prove that, do I? Make sure you let them know the Hank leaky tanks with the Hanks are. Here. Leaky tanks with the Hanks are showing up. Okay. Do you need a? My phone, please. Okay. Thanks, ma'am. I forgot they're closed. So. What? Yeah. Well, they don't open till nine. But I just realized there's a unit right here. So we'll back up. I'll have you back me up, okay. and then we'll pull in right here, and then that's where you drop off, I believe. Are you sure? No, I'm not. Am I ever sure? No. How come they told us 8.45? I don't know. Because they didn't want, you know, they're accounting for the Hank's time schedule, oh, you know? They're like 8.45, like... so we'll see you at 9.30, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you want to get out, back me up, and then... Uh... Not really. All right, how about you guys just back me up? Come on. So, there, there needs to be good, some good help around here. She always makes you guys do everything, doesn't she? You could tell me. Be open, be honest with Carl. Is he going to call me or do I got to call him? Let's see. Ooh, it's loud here. Myrtle Beach is not quiet. Uh, don't back up yet because the car's... Okay, now you can start backing up. I mean, you can come a little more driver's side so you can make that swing. Hey, that's a good enough angle. You can just come on straight back. I'm going to move this thing. You like what you see so far? Hey, okay, you're good right there off the road. That might be good. We all good? He said check with Lou and JR, right? We all good? Well, they don't know where the tank is. They said it got sent here, but there's like no name on it. Okay. No way to track it. Well, I'll go wait with Dexy while you do this, okay? Okay, that okay. sounds good. All right. Thought this was supposed to work. Come on, fingers crossed. Work. Dexter's okay. We found some shade. We're chilling. He's got the AC on. Starting to stay off right. Positive vibes for the Hanks family. Hey, thanks for sending positive vibes our way as well. That's really nice of y'all. Bye. See ya. It's like nerve wracking to watch him take it away because it's like, well, first of all, hopefully everything goes smoothly. Second of all, I'm like, oh, those jacks are like completely extended and it's just like barely hanging in there. It's like almost touching the ground. Kind of cringy. I'm like, don't jack our jacks up, man. Wouldn't it be funny if his name was Jack? I'm like, Jack, don't jack our jacks up. Thanks, Jack. Ugh. Oh. Welcome to the Hanks family. Yeah, you still have time to run. Okay, that time is up now. Thank you. You're, you're stuck now. And there she goes. I'm like a proud father. Off to never be seen again. Sending his child off for the very first time. Well, a little update for you guys. Currently just hanging out here right now. It is about 9.45, so that puts us 45 minutes past our Appointment time. We're still looking for the gray tank here. Apparently they misplaced the gray tank. 
they shipped it here and they said all was good but i guess it came in an unmarked package or something so they misplaced it and they're looking for it so nay is inside right now trying to deal with that and i'm sitting out here in the truck and just trying not to panic no i'm not really panicking it's just uh i don't know nervous that they're gonna be able to get this all done in one day i mean we just don't have the luxury of just coming back anytime so especially with the grand design rally coming up tomorrow and our friends we want to spend some time with them and go to the beach and we just don't want to be dealing with this i want this nightmare to be over so badly is that too much to ask it is what it is that's rv life baby that's what's up oh here she is finally Hi. what's happening uh they still can't find it really they said it's here but it's not labeled correctly or something oh gosh, it's an hour after our appointment here and they actually the guy has the underbelly dropped and like ready to go well, it has to be here, right? They basically said things just come like unlabeled or no name. And I'm, I'm guessing they have lots of parts back there. Uh, lots of parts. They said once they have the tank and once they start the repair, it only takes about three hours. Okay. So that's cool if they could find it. <laughs> but the they have the RV and they have like the underbelly down. Everything's and dropped, huh? Everything's they dropped. They don't just have an extra tank chilling out in the back, do they? Yeah, does anybody have like a tank just hanging out or what? No tanks, thanks. No tanks, thanks. So I am doing the whole standing around on the inside because, you know, the more you stand there awkwardly, <laughs> the more annoying it is and the more they kind of like Honey. look for things. I'm so, I know. I got that from nursing. <laughs> because like when patients, we've noticed when patients want to be discharged and they're waiting for discharge papers. Yeah. They like will stand in the doorway and then it kind of makes me like. All right, okay. we'll get you going. You like kind of hustle more. At least they took Solly in the back to start working on it. They started dropping the underbelly in anticipation for getting this thing done. So hopefully they're committed now. Drop it in anticipation and let's hope for the best that we're going to find the gray tank in the meantime. I'll start going ripping in other gray tanks here too. I'm going to come search. It's like, where's Waldo? Where's the gray tank? Life is just life, I guess. That's, you know, if it's not one thing, it's another. In moments like this, when I'm stressing out the most, I count my, count things I'm thankful for. I'm happy that we have a running truck in AC. We're in a beautiful area. It's not too hot. And we're in good company. At least we have an appointment. What's up? You back already? I just gave them my phone number. They said the tank is here somewhere. They just can't find it. Oh, and then it's... You know, the one guy said it just takes three hours. The other guy said, oh, it's an all-day job. It's not like they're waiting to tell us yay or nay. They're like, yeah, we're going to do it. We just can't find it. Yay or nay. Well, it's 12 o'clock, and uh, so we're about three hours in. Still haven't heard any updates. We're going to call them. We're actually going to first go get some lunch real quick. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. Did they find the part? I don't know. It could be just sitting there with the thunderbelly dropped and literally nothing's happening. It's so. not a very good system they got going. It kind of seems like there's not very much accountability throughout all their dealerships. Like yeah. they just, they're so overwhelmed. They don't really care. And it is what it is. I mean. This is the problem with buying RVs because they all, all of them will break. They all will. But you really need to find one a uh, like a service, a dealer or a manufacturer that will like help you when that happens. They're kicking off more RVs in the lot that service techs can handle and it's just an issue. Cause like a simple repair, which is just re taking one tank out that's broken and replacing it with another is like a huge ordeal. Like we should have just did it. And it's not Grand Design's fault. I mean, they shipped the part long ago. They sent us an email and said that it was shipped. We touched base with this dealership we're at right now and they said, yep, we got it. And then they lost it. So. We're waiting to hear. Hopefully, we're gonna get some good news here momentarily. We're gonna fill the bellies. I gotta go get a haircut, and then we're gonna give them a call and hopefully get an update. Bye. You can tell we're a little salty and we're also a little hungry. This is RV life, friends. This is the way it goes. So, so many of you are watching this and just like, yep, been in that situation before, and it's just it's frustrating because. There's nothing you can do. It's out of your hands. I mean, you can only do so much preparation and communication. Now it's in their hands, and yeah. I can't do anything about it. So and we those, just got to go with it and figure it out as we go along. And those of you who are wondering, yes, we last week we called to verify that they have everything. We emailed like our, our peeps with Grand Design, make sure the part was shipped and that they received, and we got the A-OK. -okay. So it's not like we were just 
relying just on. Just showing up yeah. four months later hoping for the best. Yeah, we verified. <sighs> These salty attitudes need some salty food. Eight minutes on hold. This is why the Hanks like to tackle projects ourselves. This right here. If you guys are really considering buying an RV and living full time in it, just really, really understand that Yes, it's amazing and you get to go wherever you want, your home goes with you, but when things break and it has to go in for service and you don't really get any clear answers, it's really stressful because you can't just be without your home and not have any answers all day. We were prepared to not have it all day, but when you get to the dealership, the service center, and then they say, oh, we don't have your part, we can't find it. And then you try to call and get updates, assuming that hopefully Hello. they found it. I, I was calling, uh, my wife was on the phone with you, but I think we got disconnected. Uh, we were calling for a follow-up on the gray tank for the last name Hanks. But uh, you're everything up now, so you should be able to pick that up here shortly. Oh, okay, so they, the they found it, or they didn't, they didn't find yeah, it? They, they didn't find it, no, she's going to be wearing another one to get that here. Oh, okay, I see. I'm not sure why they cannot find it, but they have, I know you were here earlier and your wife was here and everybody was searching for it and yeah. they're not located anywhere. Okay, okay, gotcha. Um, and then we'll just set up another appointment or something? Yeah, yes, yes sir. Oh my gosh, we just like did all this work to like be out of our rig for the repair and oh my gosh. They can't find it, so they gotta order a new one. Well, we're not gonna be, I mean, we're... Yeah. This is why I 